We are kicking off the show today with the Tony Award winning stage play that was turned into a movie. It won eight Oscars, including Best Picture, but now you can catch it live on stage. Joining us now is Mark Standreth, the star of the production that you can catch at Roger Rockets by, who is the, who is the company that's putting it on? Uh, it's a good company, Players. It's not at Roger Rockets. Oh, it's not? Roger Rockets is sort of catty corner from this, uh, oh, the oh, second oh, oh. space theater. You're at the second space yes. theater. Okay, yeah. but that's, you know, that's our little theater district yeah. down there. Oh, yeah. And so we can catch Amadeus mm -hmm. is the play that we're talking about. Yeah. And uh, so I was trying to do some research about this. <laughs> I know that Mozart's in it. Mm -hmm. You play the other, the other one. The other guy. Who's the other one? So it's actually the, 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 the play focuses around Antonio Salieri. And these are all historical characters. Yes. These are people that, that actually lived uh, during the late uh, 18th century uh, at the court of uh, Emperor Joseph II of Austria. Uh, Antonio Sal Salieri at the time was the court composer. Yes. And uh, very ambitious, very driven, wants fame, uh, wants all of the trappings that goes with it. And he's well on his way there when all of a sudden this young punk comes along yes. named Wolfgang Mozart, uh, who obviously is attracting a lot of attention. Well, Salieri hears the threat, sees it right away, and decides... I've got to do something to try to, to knock this guy off his high horse. Uh, but during the course of the play, what becomes evident to Salieri is this man is a true genius. Right. And everything that he wants to be, but can't be. And it's that it's a story really about the price of fame, uh, about the cost of, of, of being a genius and, and what that pressure uh, entails. And uh, it's kind of got a... a the TV show House of Cards, uh -huh. it's really got that kind of feel. That so, kind of drama oh, to it. And, and intrigue and plotting. Yes, and, yes. And my character talks to the audience for most of the and play. And there, there's so much internal internal battling yeah. that goes on. So how do you prepare for a production like this that is so well received on in so many platforms? You know, it has a Tony, it has many yes. Oscars. How do you prepare for something like this? Well, the great thing is the script is written so well. Yes. And, and it allows for the individual actors to kind of come up with their own take, their own their own interpretations of things, uh -huh. um, and and for me, uh, the, the 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 good thing that with this is that I actually did this role like back during the Reagan administration. Okay. I was very young. In fact, maybe a little too young to do the role. That's kind of fun, though. But, but approaching it again, so I can take a lot of the things that I, I kind of developed as I was researching the role back then, but now because of life experience, because of maturity, because yeah. of relationships that I've had with other people, and just you know becoming a, a better actor along the way, uh, I'm really excited to present this because I think it's a, it's very, it's a very full and, and hopefully rich interpretation that the audiences will enjoy. I love that perspective because the the main character is very complex mm -hmm. and it's hard for the audience to know who is good and who's bad and who you should be rooting for but that that's the human experience mm -hmm. it is it's all complexity yeah, but, and there's a lot of things to be uh, uh, to that people can relate to yeah. because gossip runs through the the whole thing so so our society nowadays with uh, with TikTok and and Snapchat and Twitter and Facebook and, and all of these devices that help us kind of share information whether it's true or not um, it plays right into the gossip that was prevalent throughout uh, the society in Vienna yes. back at the, the land, uh, late end of like the 1700s. And people will think, you know, we, these are all new problems, mm -hmm. but just like there are no new ideas, there yeah. are there are no new problems. Yeah. All right, so let's let's correct everybody. Where okay. can we see the play? How can we get tickets? Yes. When is it? So it's Amadeus. Uh, it's at the Second Space Theater, okay. which is on Olive, right again, Caddy Corner from uh, from Roger Rock. Another one. <laughs> um, it uh, opens tomorrow night and runs through February of the 18th. Thursday through Sunday. A long time. And, uh, you know, there's a, a great opportunity for folks to come and enjoy some really high quality theater. Uh, tickets are available at gcplayers.com or you can call the box office at 559 266 0660. Okay, perfect. Well, this is such a great way to kick off the new year. Mm -hmm. if, maybe if, if you've got a, a goal or a resolution to become mm -hmm. more cultured or to be more yes. involved in your community, I think community theater is a great right. way to do that and a great way to see you know how passionate people mm -hmm. are and and uh, go explore you know expose yourself to some some new stories yeah. and some new and, thought processes and, and one quick thing to, to yes. if you love Mozart's music there's a lot of it oh, in the show yes. it's not a musical 
Although I do sing. Oh, yeah. An but. Another little, another little <laughs> tease for you there. We'll have all the information on how you can get yeah. tickets. Mark, thank you so much for being with us. Oh, today. it's break, my pleasure. Break a leg. Thanks very much. All right, coming up, we are prioritizing our finances this new year. We introduce you to the company that can help you put a little cash in your wallet. That's next.